After letting this champagne color dry, I'm going to go in and start my pattern of pink, white, red. Pink, white. So end on that. So I'm going to start with my pink. This is Nina Ultra Pro Punky Pink. For the white, I'm going to use China Glaze's White on White. And then for the red, Savvy Red. It's just a matte red. And then continue the pattern with the pink. On this one. All these nail polishes I got from Sally's Beauty Supply. And then finish up with the white. So there it is right now. So let that dry for a little bit. You could even, if you wanted, go in with a second coat on all the tips. This next step is very optional. I'm going to use only for the white tipped ones. I'm going to put a little bit of glitter, and I got this loose glitter from Sally's Beauty Supply. So I'm going to go in with my second coat of the white. And then I'm going to do one nail at a time. Then I'm just going to take it and tap it till the glitter kind of falls onto my nail just a little bit. And I'm going to concentrate it more on this side opposed to that side because this is going to end up getting covered anyway. So there's the glitter, only on the white. Now I'm going to start the line design and this is the brand LA Colors and the color is red. So for the pink tip nails like my thumb and my ring finger go from the left to the right and kind of cut across. So make the line and then just fill it in. And then for the, the white tip nails, I'm going to go in with pink. This is the same brand, LA Colors, and this one is called Intense Pink. Then, just like before, start at the top, and then just cut across, kind of like, make that line, and then just fill it in. And then for the red, go in with the white. So there are all the nails you can see kind of cut off from their tips in different colors. Second part to the line design is the crisscrossing lines that you can see right here for the pink tip nails. I'm going to use the white, go back with the white, just go on top of the beginning of the tip and overlap the red. Looks like you've cut this top red part off and then See how the red continues down here, down to the pink? I'm going to line, kind of outline the red. For the white tip nails, I'm going to use the red polish. So outline the white ones with the red.
And then for the red tip, I'm going to outline with the pink. So there's step two to the line. Step three, just one more little line deal that will outline this color, like these colors up here. So for the pink tip nails, I'm going to continue that pink. So I'm going to outline the red with the pink. And then for the white, I'm going to outline with the white. And the red, outline with the red. So there you can see, that's pretty much the line design. For really extra, like, Valentine's Day flair or, you know, just if you like hearts or anything, I'm going to add this little red heart on the pointing finger with the white tip. And I got these little hearts from Nigel Beauty Emporium in Hollywood, North Hollywood. And it came in this little uh, decorating set. It came with these. This is some loose glitter. It was only five bucks. It's this brand called Cena Pro. I can't find my little toothpick thing, so I'm just going to use a bobby pin. And I'm going to add a top coat over this. Just pretty much over the whole nail. And then immediately after the top coat, get the heart. And then just put it right in the open space. Right in the middle of the white. So there's a little heart. Completely optional. Look just fine without it. This little accent, if you will. And the top coat that I'm using, this is Beauty Secrets Hardener Top Coat. And then put one more top um, coat of top coat over the heart. And that's it for the nails. I'll be doing more with these little heart deals. They're so cute. I like them. So anyway. Most um my most of my nail stuff comes from Sally's Beauty Supply or Nigel's Beauty Emporium in Valley Village, North Hollywood. So check it out if you're in the area. And that is it for the nails. Hope it um inspires or yeah. Get with like um experiment with your nail polish. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.